Hi, this is Shira for BeachMillions.com, and in this video, we're going to see how to work with a WordPress.com free blog. Now, as you can see in my SEO Quake plugin, WordPress.com has a page rank of 9. And this is one of the reasons why it's so great to have your own uh, WordPress.com blog. The other reason is that it's free and that Google loves WordPress. So let's get started and sign up. Now I already created a WordPress.com blog for Beach Millions in a different video. Um, so I'm not going to actually sign up here, but I'll show you what I would do. I would actually select here. Down here it says give me a blog like username.wordpress.com and this is the username. So let's say I wanted my username to be um, beach now this all has to be lower cases Let's say we want to make one for beach millions forum enter a password enter an email address agree to the terms of service and say give me a blog okay let's just do that okay but I already have a username and an email address in Gmail so it's not going to let me do it but this is what you would do and I'm going to actually go and log into the wordpress.com blog that I made in a previous video so I'm going to be right back showing you how to log in Okay, I'm ready to sign in to my Beach Millions blog, and this screen is called a WP Admin screen, and it's the way to enter the administration area of your blog, meaning behind the scenes where you would write your posts and define everything that's on your blog um, as the owner of your blog. So I've entered in my username and my password, and I'm logging in. And as you can see, I'm immediately taken to a new post. I don't think I have any posts on this blog. And before we go to actually post something, I would like to show you the different uh, areas in the dashboard uh, and what you can do with them. Okay, so here you can see this is my username. Hi, I have two blogs and I could have gone to any one of them. You see I have Beach Millions and Beach Millions System and let's take a, a look for a moment at our dashboard so everything on this side is configurable and here I can see uh, my stats and the comments and all kinds of stuff like that we're not going to look at that now and what we would like to look at first of all is our settings and the first setting we're going to configure is the general. So let me just scroll down here, general. And this is the most important place to start because this is going to define your site title. Now your site title should be keyword driven, so we're going to call this okay. And here, we're not going to leave just another WordPress site. We're going to write our site slogan. And this is the email I signed up with. And here I can choose my date format and my time format and what day my week starts on. And I am going to uh, save my changes. I can also upload a picture to be used for my uh, blog image. But I'm just going to save this for now. And the next setting I'm going to go to is writing. Now I can decide the size of my post box and do I want to have emoticon, emoticons or not. And my blog default post category and I don't like this uncategorized. So in a moment, we're going to create a new default category and then come back here and define it so that I never have an uncategorized post if I forget to 
associate it with a category. And this is my default link category. And later when I add in some links here, they're all going to go into my blog role. And I can define additional categories. So I can also post by email and you can enable that and then you can actually um, email your, your WordPress blog a new post and upload your post that way which is pretty cool if you have an iPhone and stuff like that it's very easy so I didn't change anything here so I don't need to save my changes and let's check out reading so now I can define how my blog is going to look when people arrive on it so are they going to see my latest post? Are they going to see a static page? So if you want to have a sales page as the front page of your blog, you would choose a static page and then you would select it, but first you would create it. So this you would come back here after you create your page. Here we're showing how many blog pages to show and for my feed, how many items to show in my feed. Do I want my full text or my summary? I recommend going for full text and for each article in an enhanced feed show I like to show the tags and this is for my email which I'm not really going to change now because I don't I'm not going to use these email settings so I did change something on this page and I'm going to click save changes Okay, let's check out the discussion settings and these are really going to talk about my comment settings and my article settings. Am I going to allow people to comment and if they comment do I have to, do they need to be logged into WordPress or can anyone comment on my uh, blog and all kinds of stuff like that so you can select what you like and you can also have certain sites or IPs on comment blacklist if you know that there are certain spammers and you don't want them in on your site. So here we have our avatars and we can show other people's avatars and we can um, if someone doesn't have an avatar of their own we can give them a, a special uh, avatar when we choose. So I didn't save, I didn't change anything here and I'm not going to save anything. In media, we're going to decide whether we're going to allow uh, our pictures to go up in thumbnails, which is the best size for them to go up in terms of speed loading on your site. And do we want to allow embeds? And I would like to say my maximum width is going to be 600, and my height is going to be 480 and I'm going to save it.